Okay, roll and write games is a category that starts to be crowd. There are a lot of games uh, pouring every day and uh, new designs and new releases on, on this category, on this genre. It is uh, possibly due to the fact that it's a very easy to manufacture uh, game because it has a few dice and uh, some uh, block of papers and a pencil. But uh, that doesn't mean that all of them are good. What you really have to, to be looking for is that uh, what you're doing besides rolling dice is meaningful and there are a lot of ways for you to gain points. Now, this specific game, Frankie Rocking Vegas, is a game that uses dice. Now, the theme is a bit strange because Frankenstein, you wouldn't expect him to go to a casino, to Las Vegas, but he goes and uh, what you're doing is you're trying to roll this uh, nicely custom illustrated dice which have either uh, the body in the various uh, colors or the head of Frankenstein and then you need also a lightning in order to to make uh, some pairs so what is uh, nice about this game is besides the dice that are used for the different results and combinations that uh, yield victory points is the fact that there are additional dice uh, like uh, the high voltage die or the black die that they uh, open new opportunities that if something doesn't roll up together with uh, the rest of the dice in terms of what combinations you're looking for you can combine them with th those two dice in order to get additional victory points and it's always something that you need to balance so let me show you how the game plays and we'll come back after this video at the end of it with uh, some more final thoughts <laughs> how Frankie Rocking Vegas plays. This is a game of uh, dice, obviously, belongs to the dice and roll uh, genre. You need a paper and pencil. It has a lot of push your luck and set collection elements, like most of these games. So here Frankie Rocking Vegas merges two concepts from pop culture that uh, may or may not have been merged before. Uh, Frankie the Master, formerly known as Frankenstein makes uh, Las Vegas uncertain. At the gaming tables, uh, they throw the new master of friends and then he gets rocked. Two to six uh, crazy scientists, ages eight and up, use a special Frankie die to roll their own army of Frankies. You need to use a head, a body, to form a whole Frankie and give it life with an extra dice of lighting. Through certain combinations with the additional eight-sided die, which is the black one, uh, and the 10-sided uh, dice, you get to collect numerous points along the way. So, let's see the game overview. Each round, players will roll dice and attempt to assemble the highest scoring combinations. At the end of uh, the game, the player with the highest score, by totaling their points, wins. We have the, say, the following contents. We have 9 Frankie dice, which are these custom die with the various uh, results that we're going to evaluate. And these are the ones needed for the combinations. They look very nice. Then we have one black uh, D8 and one yellow high voltage die, which is the D10. Of course, we have a block to score and mark our uh, uh, victory points. And then we, we have an included pencil as well. Uh, the score pad is uh, double sided and that's always a welcome. So for the setup, before the game starts, each player rolls all the fracking, all the, the franky dice, and the player who rolls the most, I didn't roll anyone, any. So the player who rolls the most um, uh, lightings, this symbol here, uh, will be the one to start the game. Uh, give each player a score, uh, leaf. Uh, score a page, score a sheet, and then if desired players may agree in advance to play the beginner game variant where uh, play goes without the d8, uh, the head dies, which is this one, the head die, or uh, the short game variant where you're trying to only get 42 points compared to the 66, which is a normal game. So let's see the gameplay. I really like how this looks. The game is played in rounds. Each round, every player will take a single turn in clockwise order and the game ends at the end of the round in which the first player reached 66 points. Begin your turn by rolling all of the dice, including uh, the D8 and the D10, so you roll them, and then uh, you proceed uh, by locking after each roll at least one die, either a Frankie die or a number die. Which we have two number die, dice. Uh, any single die must be locked. 
Lock dice are set aside until the scoring phase and you may choose to lock as many dice as you wish after each roll. You could even lock all of the 11 dice at uh, the start of your turn, but I don't see this very possible happening. But after locking one or more dice, any remaining dice are then re-rolled and one or more com uh, additional dice uh, needs to be locked each time at least. The rule is that at least one die must be locked with each roll and dice that have been locked, let's say I locked this one and is uh, aside the pool, then maybe I lock those two. I always need to lock at least one. Those that are locked, they cannot be included in future rolls until I finish my turn. Once all of the dice have been locked, then they are scored. And after scoring, we pass all the dice to the player on your left so that they can take their turn. So it's all about scoring in this game and combinations. So let's see how the scoring works. Your locked dice may be grouped any way you desire in order, these are the locked dice that they're going to increase uh, as you move toward the end of your turn. And they need to be grouped in any order you wish in order to score, the, to score the highest combination possible. Unless otherwise instructed by the scoring combination rules, each individual die may only be used for scoring one combination. So, a complete green or violet Frankie set, same color head and body. Let me show you how this looks. This is a body and this is a head. It's a complete green and this is a complete violet body. Uh, each of those will give you seven points, but only if it has the lighting as well. So, this score seven points and this score seven points. You need one lighting, one green head and one green body for seven points or one lighting, one violet head and one violet body for seven points. All three dice are required to score and this needs to be also of course locked at the end. And um, a head and a body of different colors would need uh, would result no seven points. For example, this one, if you didn't have those, will not give you any points at all. Now, what about the red Frankies? Because we also have a head body red Frankie, which is this face. Let me show you first of all how a green full Frankie looks up close. This gives seven points, but also this gives seven points. Always you need the lighting uh, with the pair. Okay, so uh, how do the red head body uh, Frankies work? A single red and head body uh, die combined with a yellow lighting and will award to you three points. So this set will give you three points. But keep in mind that you cannot use it for an additional set of, uh, let's say, green head and green body. It will be, of course, the highest score for you to choose. Now, uh, what about the full Frankie? If all of your nine Frankie dies are part of either red, green or violet Frankie combinations, then you have a full Frankie and you score 10 points in addition to the points for the Frankie. So for example, you'll have a body, head, lighting, body, head, lighting, and then you could have, let's say, a red and lighting as well. And note this is only possible if your yellow D10 high voltage dies uh, shows a 0 or 9 and the black D8 head is ignored. I think this can only be done if you have uh, more frank red Frankies than pairs, so it should be something like that. Yeah, This is a full Frankie only if you also have a 0 or 10 on the high voltage die. A zero or a nine, sorry, on your uh, um, high voltage die, and uh, the black head die is ignored. Okay, so this is uh, some of the options. So let's talk about the black head die, the D8 here. What's about that? Scoring the black eight sided die requires a number of same colored Frankie head symbols, green or violet, but not mixed, equal to the numbers shown on the black head die. Frankie head dies used for this purpose may not be used. To build other green or violet Frankies. If you do not have enough green or violet Frankie heads or choose to use them in other scoring combinations, then the black A die is simply ignored. Uh, 
If the required number of dice are set aside, reroll the black eight-sided die. So for example, you need the black die and you need either green or uh, purple Frankies, violet Frankies. If the number rolled is greater than the, num the previous number, the number of Frankie heads set aside, then you score points equal to the new number. If the new roll is less or equal to the previous number, then it's instead worth points equal to the new number multiplied by the uh, number of Frankie heads, the old number. We'll show an example later on to see how this works in practice. But what about the yellow high voltage die, the D10? When the yellow 10-sided die is locked, you must also simultaneously on the same roll lock a number of Frankie dies equal to the number shown on the yellow die. So for example, this would be 2. And this is important. Sides uh, or facings shown on the Frankie dice doesn't matter, just the number at this stage. Uh, they're set aside separately with the yellow die, so this would be set aside separately, uh, and not used for other scoring purposes. And when scoring, all the Frankie die set aside for the yellow die are re-rolled, and from those re-rolled dice, each complete Frankie red or matching green, violet, yellow lighting scores points equal to the number shown, which is the number shown on the yellow side of the dice, so there's a possibility to gain many more victory points this way as well. Any of the dice that are not part of a complete Frankie after the final reroll are worth nothing. And if the yellow 10 sided die shows a zero, it may be locked without setting aside any Frankie dice at the beginning. It shows, if it shows one, you may skip the reroll since at least two dice are necessary to make a red Frankie. But then set aside the dice still works nothing. So, any locked dice that are unable to be used in any of the scoring combinations at the end of your turn, they're ignored, they're worth nothing, and all other dice are giving you the points as described before. The game ends after the scoring uh, of the seventh round. The player with the uh, scoring, they're scoring the rounds here, from one to seven, the player total uh, their points and the player with the highest score is the winner. In case of a tie, all affected players roll 9 Frankie dice and the player who rolls the most yellow lighting symbols is the winner, which is a bit of uh, luck, but anyway, that's to break the tie. So, let's see some scoring examples. Let's see, for example, Victoria has uh, these combinations here locked and these are her final uh, results. Yeah. Then you have a two. Then these are not part of anything. And then you can have two uh, different symbols here. It doesn't matter because these are locked in the same way I described before how the yellow dice works so ignore the facing. And let's say we roll the four on the black die. So this is my result. Okay. So uh, the score is the following. One complete green Frankie head uh, and lighting, which is this one, and will give her seven victory points. Then the second lighting dice combined with the red head body to make a red Frankie worth three victory points. This one. Then the second red head body has no lighting die to, grow, to go with it, so it's ignored and scores zero. The two Frankie dice set aside. Sorry, this is not a, also not giving anything, uh, it's ignored. So the two Frankie dice set aside with the yellow 10 sided die are re rolled. The result is uh, the green head. Let's say we re roll them, all those three, and then the result is um, in a green head and a green body yeah and uh, the yellow 10 sided die scores zero points here because uh, you cannot have a full set since uh, a green body and a green head does not yield a full set to award points so uh, unfortunately this is uh, does not make a full franking although it was legally locked with two dice. So uh, it is allowed to score their own combinations. The only 
Die left is the, the violet one, which uh, does not uh, give any points, unfortunately, because it's left to be used with the black die, which is uh, four. It would require four, so both it and the violet die uh, result zero points, unfortunately. So this was an example of scoring. You see the idea. Depending on the various combinations, you're going to get many possibilities on scoring different uh, sets and that's uh, that's something to chase. So that's how you play Frankie Rocking Vegas. So there you have it. This is Frankie Rocking Vegas. This is a, a simple and fast roll and write game. We've seen many of those but I like the fact that uh, first of all what you're trying to do is not only combine the uh, results from these dice which different combinations uh, award different victory points but also keep an eye on those two different dice. Of course uh, the central mechanism is every time you have to lock one at least uh, dice from your dice rolls and you keep uh, rolling the ones that you haven't locked till you are out of dice and then that's your final combination. But the way these two work as you have seen uh, in parallel with those open up a lot of opportunities and give different things for the fans of this genre. So if you're uh, into roll and write games Give it a try because I think it has something different to offer and opens up more and more scoring opportunities exactly due to the additional dice that are implemented and not every die in this game is the same. The combinations, if they are on their own, the custom ones, or if they're combined with the high voltage sets and the black die, give completely different uh, scoring opportunities. So there you have it. This is Frankie, Rocking Vegas.